Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be doing some stuff around the Lego room. My main focus today is to try and clean it up. I also want to work on the Winter Village a little bit, just add a few things there. But I need to clean this place up. There is stuff everywhere. I've got parts on the floor, bags on the floor, little mini builds all over the place, tools and stuff lying around, and my desk. My desk is beyond words right now. Like, what is going on here? <laughs> That's what happens when you're always building stuff and sort of always on the go. Sometimes, at least once a week probably, you need to just sit back, relax, clean everything up, and make your space look perfect. So that is my goal today, is to make this space look epic and also prepare ourselves for some big changes here in the Lego room or some new additions as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do today is clean up my desk area because I need that area. That's where I sort of process everything. Oh my gosh, it's going to take forever, so I may as well get started. Look at all those parts. Oh, I need Jose's help, but she's not here to help me. Oh well, let's do it. You sort of forget how long it takes to sort and clean and organize and sort of fix everything after you're done doing projects or change something in a Lego city. And I think this time lapse here captures how long some of the cleanup can take. So I also have some other stuff that I got to sort here. Check it out. This is my PAB haul from the other day. I didn't get it separated by part type <laughs> when I put them into the cups or when I dumped them into the bag. So now I've got to go through and sort it all. Uh, I tested it on my sifter, hoping that the sifter would take out the small cheese wedges, but just one by one plates and tiles and uh, studs and stuff like that will fit through the sifter. The cheese wedges just barely fit through. Okay, here we go. The cheese wedges, oh, just barely don't fit through the hole there. So it's not going to help me sort it out. Sorting all of these pieces here definitely took quite some time. This time lapse is sped up very, very fast. But it's definitely nice to have these all separated by part type. So that's what 11 pick and build cups looks like. Woo, that is a lot. Oh yeah, they're gonna come in handy there. Those shield tiles, that's awesome. Also, trans dark blue wedges. Yes, <laughs> yes everybody. Also two by six bricks and six by eight black plate. Oh yes, a nice sort job right there. That was amazing. Had a lot of fun doing that. Ah, I guess it wasn't too much fun. But then I've got all of this stuff here, which is from our Daily Bugle. And this all needs to be put into the drawers as well. So I've got to get this all sorted out. Ah, you know, when you do lots of Lego projects, there's always lots of cleanup. So I guess that's the next thing we're going to do is put all this stuff where it belongs. Definitely like in the new desk setup, everything just seems so accessible. I can just spin around 180 on the chair there and file all the parts away. So it's pretty convenient. Loving the new desk, there seems to be a lot more space. It's just a little bit more ergonomical. Nice little cozy nook there that I set up. And you know what, I love the addition of the shelving as well. I think the shelving in the office there really just looks good with all the nice sets above the computer desk. And also, I like having that shelf there where I can just temporarily store stuff away, like projects that are on the go, like the mills plates that I'm parting out right now, or things that need to be dealt with, or parted out and sorted, or finished building, etc. It's just a nice shelf to have. That's just my workspace. Big thumbs up. After all that sorting, let's check out some of these part drawers. They're looking pretty good. You know, we got the leaves there. Oh, oh yes. The trans blue cheese wedges. Woo, yeah, yeah. Also, look at this one. All like the big leaf elements. Perfect. That's a new addition. And we got all the brown two by two circular bricks. One time when these were on the pad wall, I did the same thing. I loaded up on the bamboos and they have come in handy time and time again. Fantastic pickup. That was amazing. Lots of trees and stuff. So we're going to be able to add lots of tree detail wherever it needs to go. Pretty fantastic. Somebody was asking me not too long ago in the comment section, how do you go about sorting your parts? Like he actually commented on a part sorting video and he said, where do you like come up with the ideas and the concepts? 
honestly, it's just experience. I used to sort by color, but now I know it's part type. If you sort by color, you'll soon learn that, oh my gosh, it is impossible to find the pieces that I am looking for. So I generally do it by part type and by color. So like you're one by bricks, you know, and then if you need to break it down further, you can do that. But yeah, during that time lapse there, I was emptying a bunch of bags and stuff into these part drawers. So I've made like new ones, like these modified bricks in brown. But yeah, I definitely do sort by part type, like whether it's tiles and jumpers, uh, plates, and then if you have enough of a certain plate to break it down by one by or two by or larger plate, smaller plate. My drawers are sort of messy right now. Uh, they're not bad. You can see these are all my connector elements in gray. Those are sort of a nuisance to sort the connectors because there's so many different types of connectors. I also find slopes are a little bit of a nuisance to sort. Uh, those are inverted slopes, but slopes, there's just like so many different types. There's two by two, there's one by two, there's odd shaped slopes, there's all the different colors of slopes. So they're a little bit of a pain to sort. But I mean, you really just play it by ear. If you buy a huge amount of stuff from a pad wall, it gets its own drawer or brackets all go together. And I mean, I could break this down by different types of brackets just like I did with my snot drawer. I mean, I've got it all broken down by different types. Just really depends on how many parts you have of a certain variety, how you wanna break it down. But you can see I got cylinders and one by ones. Here's some more that I picked up off a of pad wall that share a drawer. These are the ingots and the snot bricks. So it just really depends on, on what you have. But I always break it down by part type just because that's how parts are organized on Bricklink and on the LEGO website, and that's just how it should be done. Broken down by part type for sure is the best way of doing it. There we go, I think our desk is looking a little bit better now. Boy, oh boy, sort of a lot of stuff there. Parted out some stuff, just got a better feeling about the room now, you know, with all of that clutter gone. It just feels really good. And you know what, I wanna address underneath the table as well because there's just some random things under here that I just need to get out of the way and just get it where it belongs, really. And you know what? There's one thing that sort of makes me pretty sad. I built this really cool mills plate once upon a time that accommodated these little fishing shacks and the dojo temple. And then I changed the layout and it never got used. And this has been underneath the table ever since. Ah. Oh. I've got to integrate this back into the Lego city somehow. But I guess I've got to wait until I continue working on our Ninjago area to try and figure that out because it should go up there. Well, you know what? I decided to place it right here beside the Coliseum. At least now it's on display along with all of its minifigures and accessories. I think that's a little bit better. I mentioned I wanted to work a little bit on the Winter Village as well at the beginning of this video. Well, there you go. I added a nice scene right there. We'll see if we get around to that. I honestly still have lots of stuff that I need to clean up and address here. And actually one thing that I want to do and we're going to start working on right away here is the amusement park. I need to clear this entire area and tidy it up uh, just so I can access that wall there for our other project. I found these little Lego city things stashed underneath the table. So I'm going to put these in the city as well. Just some scooter charging stations, some scooters, and also this little coffee cart. I thought this was by the beach, wasn't it? We're, oh, right. I have two of them. This was a promo. Nice. So I've got two of those. I'll probably end up building something custom, but this might look good in the zoo or even in the amusement park. Place that there. And I think a scooter charging station would probably fit somewhere nicely outside the zoo. I've got all of these things here that are just placed here. Eventually I've got to space all this stuff out in the city. There's like a bus station and another bus station. Yeah, there we go. Two bus stations side by side. That makes perfect sense. And a newspaper stand. And now a scooter thing. Perfect. All right, it's a little bit better. Why haven't I been working on this area? Ah, uh, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be doing this in mills or not. And I honestly don't think I have the parts to do it correctly right now. 
I've got enough stuff to build trees, but I don't have enough plate or brick to do mills. I do have, I actually don't have any like blue plate left either to do like water detail. I don't really have the parts to do it. It's not as simple as just starting to work on it because I have to order probably like, you know, probably, I don't know, to do this section over here, maybe two grand, two grand worth of parts probably. If I want to do a Helm's Deep, like I want to do it, like a, like a mountain backdrop, like build it like an actual custom Helm's Deep. Yeah, I'd say about two grand. If I want to do it in mills plates, I don't know, maybe three, four grand, but I've put maybe 30 seconds of thought into that. So that's one of the reasons why I haven't started it. Also, just because I've been doing so many other projects. So the ones under the table, I've sort of got the cold shoulder. It's sort of sad though, because there's some epic sets down here. You know, like there is some epic stuff. With that said, maybe if I have the shelving that I'm about to install, not in this video, but we're about to prepare for it with the amusement park once again, maybe once I get the shelving installed, that's like that, maybe I can put some of those epic castles up there just so you can actually see them and we can take the time to appreciate them up above the city for a while before I work on this area. Cause I won't lie to you guys, I mean, <laughs> I know I've been meaning to do this for a while too, but I've been meaning to do the zoo for longer and I've been meaning to do the amusement park for longer. And like these things are more like visual, like you see the amusement park right away and you see the zoo in the city. I'm excited that I actually started on the zoo and all of those pieces that we saw earlier are really gonna help with these projects. But you've seen my amusement parks before, you know I can do it, I know I can do it. I know I can make something look pretty epic and I've got actually some even better plans for the amusement park. I'm not gonna share them with you right now, but I've got even better plans for the new and improved one. So I sort of wanna like finish the up, you know, like the stuff up here before I start working on the stuff under there. Does that sort of make sense? I think it makes sense. But we've done some really good stuff lately, right? Like, what have we done in the last little while? Well, we built the platform, we built the mountain, uh, we did the graveyard, we placed the Sanctum Sanctorum, we placed the bowling alley, we doubled up the size of our daily bugle, uh, we changed up the beach, we placed this here, we changed up the boatyards, which are still sort of under construction, we built the farm, we built the zoo, sorry, not the zoo, but the um, campground. We placed the Venetian houses and made the canal and that waterfall. Uh, we've redone the modular building layout a bunch of times. Mills plated that, gave it a nice yard. Mills plated the home alone house. Redid all of our uh, residential buildings so that they're all Mills plated and look good. Mills plated this. Mills plated all these. Built the canal, which is under construction still. I mean, Mills played in the whole city in the last year or so. <laughs> so, like, tons of resources and time has gone into this. I also built all of these platform coverings, you know, rendered all that stuff multiple times. So it's not like I'm not doing anything. I'm doing lots of stuff. Lots of time and lots of resources has gone into doing all of this. And I don't know. I think it's just something that is never really going to be done done. That's the Lego city. And I think that's the thing with any Lego city. It's never really done. Because once you get something done, then you're like, all right, I'm going to redo it and make it even better. <laughs> Just like I've done, you know, four times with the amusement park. <laughs> it's Just something that's always a work in progress and always, you know, fun to redo, I guess. I don't know. There's just something about experimenting with new things that I really like. You know, building different trees or different campgrounds or different amusement parks or different shelf layouts or different scenes. I just like doing lots of different things. It just changes up my day and I, I enjoy it. I know a lot of people say that I have a lot of projects on the go, but that's just how I like to operate. This is what I do. It's, I've always been that way. Nothing has changed. I've always been the guy that has too much going on. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I enjoy it and it's sort of what I like to do. Okay. Now that we got the uh, under table scene looking a little bit cleaner, even though I robbed a bunch of base plates from it, I'm gonna organize this area here so I can get up and install some shelving in the near future. Oh yeah, speaking of that, there's a few other things that I did recently. I built a loop coaster. Uh, we mills plated all of the rides. I built all of these mills plates here. Uh, <laughs> I've reorganized my parts 
a bunch and just sort of kept on top of the mess, kept on top of Lego news, kept on top of new sets, placed them in the Lego room. So yeah, we're doing lots, I'm excited. This is awesome. I'm fired up, I'm having a good time and I think that's all that matters. All right, now let's do this. So the amusement park, it needs to be worked on. I built a bunch of those large 48 by 48 gray mills plates and they're sort of like open canvases. They're definitely not gonna stay all gray. Eventually we're gonna put some landscaping on those things. But yeah, pretty easy to clean this place up here as you can see them on the table there and that's a big thumbs up moment. Look at that amusement park. You know what? One day I want it to be clustered like this. Okay, maybe not this clustered, but I want things to be tight. I want there to be lots of action, lots of minifigures and things to be full. Yeah, but <laughs> before I do that, I have to hang the shelving because as you all know, I've already decided that I'm gonna hang shelving there. So quit telling me not to do it because I'm doing it. <laughs> that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, yeah, so I've got the uh, 48 inch tracks here and these are gonna go on every stud. You can see they pretty much perfectly fit there. And I've got seven of them. So they're gonna start in the corner every two feet. And then I've got the brackets with screws, my laser level. So the way I'm gonna do it is put my laser level at the top there, shoot a nice line going all the way across or maybe on the bottom, I guess even. And then mark each stud according to the laser level and then uh, just sort of make sure they're all lined up, screw them in spot there. I've got my drill, I've got my screws, I've got tape measure ready to go for the next project. I don't know if this will be my next video or if I'm gonna like continue working on the zoo and save that for a day or two. I haven't, haven't decided yet. I'm literally living one day at a time here or one video a day at a time. So I don't know what we'll continue working on tomorrow, but I'm glad I was able to clean up this place here and prepare that wall for the shelving. Yeah, and then I'll have to fill that shelving too. I mean, I didn't have to go this extreme. I didn't have to clear everything. Technically, if I, I don't know, <laughs> pop a ladder in there and if I wanted to change something on the shelf, all I'd have to do is step in the middle of the table, pivot, change it, and then pivot back. But it will be hard to access that shelving. There's no question about it. I think it's gonna look cool and I'm willing to try it, that's for sure. Yeah, everybody, thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog here where we cleaned up the Lego room and added a peeing dog to the winter village and just did some miscellaneous stuff. But yeah, I think I achieved my goal of cleaning everything up. Thank you so much for coming on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.